Hello YouTube, Mr. Man here. Well, today I got another review. It's been a while since I've done review, sorry about that, but um, this is another knife. This is actually, uh, well, you can tell by the title up there, but um, this is a uh, pen review, <laughs> kind of. This is a, uh, a review of the Smith & Wesson m and Tactical Pen. So, uh, let's just see, here's a box that it comes in right here. It says, manufactured by Taylor Brands, made in Taiwan. Um, even though it's a Smith & Wesson pen, it says it's actually made by a company called Taylor Brands, and they, um, they kind of make the knives and uh, stuff for Smith & Wesson, but, um, you know, so Smith & Wesson doesn't really make them this themselves. Uh, so over there it says Smith & Wesson, back, Smith & Wesson is registered trademark of Smith & Wesson Corp. Use under license by Taylor Brands, you know, LLC, so whatever, um, LLC, sorry. But, um, so yeah, they're made by, uh, here's the uh, product code, the S-W-P-E-N-M-B-M-P-B-K, sorry about that, man. Not thinking good today. <laughs> anyway, so here's a box that comes in, kind of small, but you know, boxes aren't that big of a deal. Well, they are to me, sort of. <laughs> but anyway, um, so open it up, and inside you got your pen. We'll set that aside for a second. Got your little, uh, duh, what's this? Quality cutting tools, even though this isn't a cutting tool, obviously. Uh, your information right there. Uh, Taylor Burns. I don't know exactly what this is. I don't think I've ever bothered to look. Oh, this is probably a limited lifetime warranty up here. Um, yeah, so it's just like a warranty. Um, so that comes in here. Uh, it's just a box. Anyway, now getting to the pen itself. Here it is. This is the, oops, Smith & Wesson Tactical Pen, which I said that a million times. Oh, now this is the M&P variant, okay? Now, let me just explain something really quick. Um, M and the M&P ones have the pull-off cap. The, um, hopefully I'm getting my information right here. Hang on a second. Yeah, the military and police, I believe these ones have, uh, well, this does have the pull-off cap. And then the other pens, I, I think those ones are screw-off where you unscrew the cap. But um, I think the tip looks different on them. Like, uh, hang on, let me just pull up a picture. Smith & Wesson, military and police, tactical pen. I got my computer open up here. Sorry if this is going to take me forever. Smith & Wesson, tactical, P-E, oh, pen. Hang on, I just want to. Make sure I'm telling. Oh yeah, so it looks like the um. You know, let me pull this up here really quick. I don't know if you can see this here. There's the one I got on my computer. Uh, I got opened up. Uh, how it kind of looks. This one, I don't know if you can tell, but right by the tip, it's like it got some extra little ridge there. Now um, so that's kind of how you can tell the two apart by just looking at them. But um. But, uh, um, what am I saying? I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> Pardon me. Hold on a second. Um, but yeah, so this one got the, uh, the pop off cap, which I kind of prefer a little bit better so you don't have to be sitting there and, you know, unscrewing it. But, um, anyway, so let's, well, uh, yeah, let's just take a quick overview of the pen. So you got your tip here, and pretty much a tactical pen, um, they call them tactical pens. Anything can be tactical. I mean, I could use my Parker pen here, you know, to do the same thing this does, which is hit. But, um, like, you know, tactical pens are pretty much made for striking like this. You know, they can use the Kubaton. Um, but any pen can kind of be made for that um, or used for that because uh, they all kind of got sharp tips. And, you know, if you pop the pen out there, you can just hit like that. But a, um, what do you call it? A tactical pen is kind of made especially for Like this one um, on Amazon here, it says it's made out of uh, T6061 aircraft aluminum, I guess, a T. 600 whatever I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that but I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that I know sometimes you know like steel um, SPDV it's not SB0V you know it's people got different names for stuff anyway um, but yeah so it's made out of aluminum and it's it's not extremely heavy now I haven't really had a chance to carry this around because um, my pockets are full and in the winter I don't normally carry stuff around in my shirt but now that it's the summer I might um what do you call it? I might be carrying this around uh, a little bit more testing out so anyway you got your point here for striking i have hit myself on my leg with this a couple times and it this will hurt if you hit it i mean like this is hurting right here but if i was to really smash hard this would hurt like crazy um i mean you got this uh couple rings here and then some texturing don't know if you can see that really good but so when you're writing with the pen and we'll get to that in a second um i've got a pocket clip on here now this one let me pull my aegis here i see a pocket clip on the aegis right here it got a little bit more room than this does like you know you might you'd be able to get more material under here than you would on the uh, the Smith & Wesson pen but then again if this is well this is a tight pocket clip too so I guess that's good but if um 
this would be good for putting in like a shirt pocket or something, but if you were clipping it into like your pants pocket, you might have a little bit of trouble. Um, you got two screws holding in here and a lanyard hole. I don't necessarily know why you use one of these. Not saying that it wouldn't be useful. Maybe you could have a dangle and just pull this off and you'll just have this uh, like hanging around your, uh, you're not going to pull the, uh, the bottom part of the pen off and uh, just use this, but it would be hard to, uh, to strike with. And sorry, you probably just didn't understand anything I said, but let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, if this was hanging off you like on the string, you would have pull like this. So you'd have this hang up, hang up. Sorry, man, why am I like getting all tongue tied today? <laughs> you have this hanging off you, and this is what would come off the uh, the whole pen part. Now you wouldn't have anywhere really to put your thumb back here to strike with, so it would be a lot harder to use it, um, you know, for defense. But anyway, so the, the way this works, like just showed you, snap it on there. You just Man, it's kind of, it's on there tight, but not extremely tight. You pull that off, and it can snap onto the back, and you got your pen here. Now, let me, let me get a note to show you how this writes. Why didn't I do this before? All right, sticky note. See, you can, well, let's just write pen, P-E-N. Now, this, um, let me explain something here. The cartridge I'm using here is... Not the one that comes with it. This is the one that comes with it, a Hauser refill. Now, what I'm using in here actually is a Fisher Space Pin refill. And the way that works, the front just unscrews here. You know, everybody got some pens. Pens are simple. You got the tip comes off, and you got your spring. And here's a Fisher Space Pin. Now, um, the the way the space pins work is if you buy a um, a refill, these will fit. Both are like the same size, but a space pen refill needs a little back plastic adapter, which um, from what I know of, they come with when you buy a refill. You get this little plastic adapter that fits on the back, and then it'll fit into your pen perfectly. So, um, like, I, I could take, oops, wrong side, this original refill here, the hoser or hoser or whatever it is, put this in, and just kind of put this on here, and write pen with this. P. You know, both right good. I mean, I can't really tell that much of a difference um, between the Fisher and this uh, Hauser refill. But um, I guess I like the Fisher because you know Fisher refills can write um, you know upside down underwater. Well, actually, now they can write in space, and most people would think, well, you don't need to write. Nobody writes in space now. I mean, the average person's not going to get the space. But um, the um, we call a, a reason why uh, the Fisher refills are good is even if you're not writing underwater or need that for anything, um, you can write at any angle. So if you're writing up against a wall, you're not gonna, um, what do you call it? it's not really gonna, the ink's not gonna, what am I saying? It's not gonna stop flowing on you since they're pressurized refills. So I could pretty much like write upside down. Let's, let's see, I don't know if I can, this way, being able to scribble a little bit. Okay, I wasn't pressing, you can't see that good. Let me just see if. Well, I mean, yeah, it'll write upside down for you. So, um, our pens would kind of do that, but after a while, the ink would stop flowing. So, um, that's what's nice about Fisher pens. Let me grab back here. It's another Fisher pen I got, just one of our Capomatics. So, um, well, here's kind of a little size comparison between the two. The Smith & Wesson pen is rather big, but, um, I mean, for what it is, uh, and that's a tactical pen, it's, um, Oops, come on. Well, never mind. I'll get that pen in my pocket later. I'm taking stuff out of my pocket, I'm not putting it back in because, you know, i got so much garbage all around me. But anyway, um, so, was I gonna say, man, I'm up to eight minutes. <laughs> Nine minutes. Sorry. Anyway, um, oh yeah, one more thing. If I can pull the cap off, there we are. Got a little plastic thing inside here to keep your cap on. Now, it is a big pen, but, like I said, for what it is, a tactical pen, it, um, it's... I, it, the size is kind of forgivable for that, and um, also the price of this. Normally, you can buy some like Benchmade tactical pens and some other pens. I'm not saying I'm not downing any of those at all because some of those look really nice. But the only problem with most of those pens is um, that they're kind of pricey. Like the Benchmade ones are probably going to cost you around a hundred dollars plus. Maybe Surefires might be around that same price. But these Smith and Wesson tactical pens, I bought mine from Amazon. For, I think it was 21 something like that, you know, just around like $20, so they're not really that um, expensive, and if you, um, 
if you put a Fisher refill on them, then they become like not a super pen, but a really good, cheap tactical pen, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so I mean, this feels well, it's not gonna bend or anything. Feels sturdy, the caps held on nice and sturdy. Um, the one complaint that I would have, maybe I guess if I had to choose one complaint, is when this caps on, if you rotate, you know, like what would that be, counterclockwise? Um, okay, well, this did work for me before. Oh, yeah, if you rotate counterclockwise, you can have a tendency to unscrew the uh, the thing that holds your cartridge in. Now, I don't want to screw that completely because I don't know what in the world would happen. I don't want to, you know, get it, um, get so that it's stuck inside the cap here. But that would be my one complaint with this, um, that you might have that unscrewing on you, like if it's in your pocket. But I don't see where that would be that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, so uh, these come in a couple different colors. Let's see here. They got them in black, gray, olive drab, and silver. That's what they show on Amazon here. Um, the olive drab's like a dark green. I think the gray's like, you know, like a, a really dark gray. Silver, let me see here. What does that look like? Load computer. Oh, that looks like a gray. Hang on. Gray. What's gray look like? Oh, okay. Well, gray looks... Maybe gray and silver are kind of the same. But anyway, um... So yeah, they got a couple of different colors. You know, I just opted for black because I like black. I mean, epic pen spinning. I'm not good at this, and I don't got room. But um, yeah. So that, that's my little review on a uh, little review. I'm up to 11 and a half minutes right now. But anyway, that's on the Smith and Wesson tactical pen. There's a couple videos on YouTube about this. Uh, but you know, this is just something I kind of want. You know, you got those little novelty things, and tactical pens are kind of a novelty. But um. I've, I've heard of like people being able to get on airplanes with these before. I don't know how true that is, but um, but I mean I wouldn't recommend it. Don't. Oh yeah, I forgot. Here it says military and police on the back. Forgot to show you that. Right up in your face in the camera. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I mean you could probably bring these into more places than you could bring like a knife or you know bring this somewhere. You might get in trouble. Bring this in somewhere. It's just a pen. How can you get in trouble for a pen? I mean, pens. It's like you can't get in trouble for them, but. Anyway, um, so that's about it. It's the 21st. Oh, yeah, new watch. Just had to put that in the video somewhere. So it looks like a Rolex. It isn't. It's an Orient Automatic. But it's the 21st today. Anyway, just had to put that in. <laughs> just got that like a day or two ago, and you know me. I got to put everything in the videos. But anyway, so uh, that's my review on the Smith & Wesson Tactical Pen. I'd recommend it if you need a, um, I guess a, uh, doing quotation marks, like a cheap self-defense option, which pretty much this would only be, not only for self-defense, but a kind of a self-defense option that wouldn't get you in trouble anywhere. You know, um, like if you can't carry a gun or something like that, which I can't right now, um, this is a pretty good option. At least I think so. Oops. Oh, yeah, and it kind of anti-roll, sort of. Anyway, so this is Smith & Wesson Tactical Pen. I blabbered on more than I should have, so I'm going to say that's... What do I normally say at my end of, end of the video? It's like... Have a good day and stay safe. Mr. Man, out, I guess. So, have a good day and stay safe. <laughs> Mr. Man, out.